<laughs> we got some diversity. Okay, now that we have two AP Shaco players, uh, let me ask this question about uh, Shaco's passive and Q change. How happy are you with the Q and passive having AP scalings? Uh, um, I think they only did it because they wanted to take power away from this E. Which they yeah, pretty much for AP. Like they want you to be a champion who like jumps in and goes for a kill as an assassin. I mean, but that did that did happen like afterwards about the E change. Um well no, what happened afterwards, they changed to the E from a hundred AP ratio down to a ninety AP ratio. But then they changed it from uh they changed something about it. They I think they gave more uh, base damage to it. And then when they did that, they removed 15% AP ratio from it and turned it to 75% AP ratio and um, put AP ratio on his Q. I think they already had uh, AP ratio on his passive. Like uh, the thing is, I, I remember in board some random player that doesn't even play Shaco made that suggestion about uh, AP on his Q. I think that's what actually happened. My only complaint I mean, is... I was just gonna say, I think it's too much physical damage. That's my only complaint. Well, yeah, and I yeah, made the it. I made the argument for adaptive damage on Shaco. Yeah, but they I don't they know. still have an absurd have. I'm gonna be honest. I don't care what um, kind of damage it is. I just want damage, man. I don't do any fucking damage. <laughs> Doesn't matter what I build. Chase, you as the main dust blade abuser. I'd be abuser. <laughs> Of course. What, what do you mean what, abuser? I, we have to I'm the only one not shooting what myself in the kneecap, idea? not building. <laughs> yeah, of course. But like, what what would you think about the idea of Duskblade being completely removed from the game so that Shaker gets his damage? I think I. <laughs> yes, please. Okay. Yes, please. I like the idea tomorrow. that you're going for because you want Shake, but like he would need some huge buffs to actually stay in the game, because that's the only item that actually gives him a power spike. That's at all anywhere close enough to maybe kill someone mid game. But I mean that's the only way for it to happen, right? Dustblade was a mistake. So so you're saying you want the game to be more based around champions instead of items, obviously, like of spikes course. and yeah. Champion scalings maybe. I just think it's a lot easier said than done for that because assassins would every AD assassin, Pike, Talon, Shaco, uh, Wukong, like all these champions would need Rengar Kazakh compensation buffs that don't make them broken as shit but like i don't know i don't see it happening oh, anytime man, soon they'd have to do their jobs <laughs> yeah but do you think that a... something like that <laughs> <laughs> do you think something like that is going to happen before all the other issues with the game no or I even mean, even I, should I, I just i fundamentally disagree with dustblade as an item but i mean i understand that's it's I a agree. part of the game now so I mean, I, everything everything that you can mention is wrong with that item. I'd be totally happy with the Lich Bane buff, though. That's that's all I really care about. The thing about Dustblade, I feel like it's the same area as DFG, and the reason why they took away DFG is just like... One-dimensional it, Yeah, it's a one-dimensional item that you have You do damage play. because you did damage. Yeah, exactly. Yep, and especially with item-reliant champions like Shaco, Okay, you farm until you have your damage, and then you have your damage. I'm still kind of salty that they killed Crit Shaco. I mean, I've when? been starting like, to S5? To with, uh, Phantom Dancer lately. It's like the only way to deal damage. I mean, Phantom Dancer is just fucking broken in general. Yeah, like you either build Dusk Blade, Lethality, or Crit. That's the only way. I, I mean, AP, okay, but like. Even AP is all about just on it stuff. It's the only way to do that. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's how uh, the champion works. Yeah. I don't mind the box max jungle build, though. It's not too bad. It, I tried it and it felt terrible. Very linear. You just don't. I mean, you play playing totally okay. different than I do. Okay, give it to me. Roast me. Go. No, I'm not even roasting. I'm just saying. You play Shaco different. Roast like, him, You AA more. Eegzy, how you feeling, man? What's going on? I'm good, dude. I haven't played fucking back? League for like two months, so. Joined but up I, uh, and did. I completely agree with Chase, but like the champion is just way too item reliant, and when you do build shit on him, it's just too linear. There's no kind of like variation or anything. And I, I agree with the dustplay thing, like putting stats back into Shaco is like the most important thing, and the thing they should do, but whether they do.
I'm not sure. It's kind of well, even it. with even with Dust Blade, like you still need buffs. Like when a Rengar gets his Dust Blade, oh, yeah, you want hundred. If someone is below eighty percent HP, they're dead. When you ult in, yeah. Shaco's like, okay, well, you got to make sure you ult on top of them. You know, th they can't have tab out. Like, it's yeah, still yeah. you need a, more. There's a lot of small things that make Shaco just bad in comparison to any other assassin. I mean, there's so many assassins that one shot. I mean, I, I'm playing Evelyn for the first five times, and it's more rewarding <laughs> than five million mastery on Shaco. I, I Dude, literally even, played even Graves, assassin that. Graves, like full lethality can still one shot people. Yeah, have they done anything um, to fucking Ninja Tabis or not? Are they still the same? Uh, no. Oh god. <laughs> not since whatever they did in season 8. I mean, but at least Phantom Dancer is now Sterix for 80 carries and Stopwatch builds into GA, so people really can't die unless their monitor's off. Yeah, there's just so many oh, cuts now to track. Change. Oh my god. As if it wasn't bad enough, people have used uh, Ninja Tabis. They make it so that GA is exclusively for 80 carries, etc. as well. Well, yeah, because they, they're the ones that cry the most on Reddit, so we have to make sure that they can stay alive when they're split-pushing it 30 minutes. AD carry mains, oh boy. <laughs> I mean, the game's just tailored to ADC mains pretty much, though. Like, if you just look at it in general. You know what, like, right? you know what they should like, do, honestly, like, is you know. give them a role to function as their brain and keep them alive. Oh, shit, they already did that. Okay, never mind, sorry. Yeah, I feel like yeah. the fucking problem with League for me like wasn't even the state of Shaq or anything like in the game itself. It was more like the matchmaking um, and just high elo just being kind of like contaminated. That's a whole nother. Yeah, that's a whole. Shit. I'm yeah. sure OCE like, like, was even worse than NA. Like, yeah, that's a whole nother oh, thing. Yeah, dude, it's fucking. It's oh right. yeah, why's why's my top two and twelve? Let me check his uh, OPGG. Oh wait, uh, season eight uh, diamond five yeah. zero OP. Nice. Hey, he improved. Okay. Let's get back to the uh, AP Shaker topic about his E. Did, do you guys know about the story about the latest, uh, like his latest main change in the E, about going from magic to physical damage? Do you guys know the whole story about that, how that happened? No. Or the writer that made it change? No clue. Uh, I'm not sure, but I, I just feel Riot wanted to align Shaco's full damage to physical so that Dustblade would be even more of a key item on him. But I'm not sure. This yeah, I mean, Dustblade it. in itself is a problematic item. It's my best but ability. I, the, the whole E change is such a disaster. The guy that did that, maybe you know, is this guy who was just spamming his Twitter with his hentai uh, games or whatever the fuck. Didn't he leave? Yeah, he did leave. He quit the game. But he was the guy that did that E change. What a shame. That guy seemed it? so disinterested in the whole, in, in what he was doing and in the game. I will was say... Was it Daniel Z. Klein? What? Was it Daniel Z. Klein? Nah, that, nah somebody guy? else. Oh. What a different guy. Now, I will say though, like, I don't love the game right now, and I think Shaco is still dog shit, but Repertoire, or how do you say it, Pink Ward? Re Repertoire? Repertoire. Yeah. He, he's he's trying. Like, he, he really is trying. trying. Yes. Yeah. He is trying. So... I mean, at least it's not like we're just we're still being ignored. You know what I mean? It, it, yeah. it just it just seems to me that there's too many biased writers. They just hate this champion, and doesn't want it to be a popular or a good champion. I honestly don't even think it was that. I think it was just that he was put on a list. Do you know about Freak? Okay, uh, the, yeah. Freak's irrelevant for that. I think he was put on a list for okay. This guess... champion's gonna get a rework at some point, so why change him now? Wait for the skin, you know. I mean, I feel like the reason they did the rework on him was to just ruin the champion anyway. I would say. You think that I was mean, their goal? <laughs> I mean, does, does anybody agree that Shaco is now better after the rework? Ah, uh, he was season um, seven. Early season seven, he was hell good. He's a better. Yeah, yeah I think he's. Better. Yeah, I don't think that was a big. Shaklin, honestly, I think that you think that the rework was a bigger deal than it was because the game was legitimately more enjoyable back then. Aftershock yeah, like, wasn't in the yeah, game, bone plating wasn't in the game, tanks weren't one-shotting everything. Like, the game was better, so I think that you kind of think that the rework was the big issue, and it was really just the game got worse as well. 
Dude, what pisses me off, like, I don't know how much you guys watch my highlights and stuff. Oh, every day. I watch them back. <laughs> you, you should know that, Ned. The best, the most quality plays I've done in this game with Shaker are the clone micro kills, the clone out plays. And now it's like all of that is gone because of the stupid clone, uh, the old changes. Wait, what do you mean? Like the damage? The, the stupid mini boxes that led to his clone explosion, oh, yeah. losing like over 100 base damage. Like that's just. Yeah, stupid. I think it's just the damage uh, for like yeah, AP. I agree with that. Uh, the old change, I, I, mean, I didn't like that. is also pretty good with the clone micro. I'm pretty sure he would agree on that. And mini boxes are pretty dumb, isn't it? Um, I think the biggest I, I've gotten a couple of kills with clone boxes because people are stupid and just yeah, but like usually they I use things. them to set up for another box usually, but yeah, yeah, it's been much. so long. Um, my biggest problem is that the the clone's explosion radius is so fucking short. Yeah, like if you I, oh my god, I don't really mind that though. Much. Like I just want damage on it. I'd rather just have the raw yeah, damage. Yeah, rather the damage. Of course. I just want the burst because uh, I always was getting kills with another the thing. Burst, and now it just does nothing. Why is Annie Tibbers coded the exact same as Clone except for how like when uh when what's it called when Annie dies? Tibbers sprints at whoever kills uh Annie. Annie clone. The clone sits there that's masturbating. That's Shaco hasn't. I mean, Annie got a full rework by like by herself. Oh, I guess she was in the mage update. I think but... it would be kind of OP though if Shaco's claim was like that though. I'm not sure that's just me, but I feel there should be something you could do afterwards with the clone. Yeah, um, but it would be OP like if you, if you died it, and you maybe. could. Imagine you yeah. could control the clone while you're dead. That would... Yeah, that just sounds OP though. That's just me. How is that OP? But I think like couldn't use it doesn't. Abilities, it doesn't have abilities. It doesn't. It's has less HP, less damage. Yes. Like, I don't think that's OP at all. It gets one shot by everything, just uh... like Shaco does late game. On yeah, Shaco, and it only lasts so long too. <laughs> Wits end every game. <laughs> okay, but like the Super thing nice. is, is, if you're going to go for that build and you don't get to three items, you just lose anyways before you get to the on the hit. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, Shaco without CBR is just screwed. So, oh, yeah, he's just so much more. Curse champion. Uh, oh, yeah. Now. If you can't like, get 30%, the, it's that's just. That's the problem, right? Shaco has always been such an item dependent, dependent champion more than anybody else in the game. But the good thing was you could build anything on him, any item. And Riot, some Riot, I'm guessing, had this vision about oh, uh, the gameplay should be more focused on the items rather than the champions, right? Like, that was the whole point of the assassin we were. Take a little damage from everyone. I guess Shaker was the one that suffered the most from that. But then, have a broken item like Duskblade that's meant for every single assassin. It's... I don't know how they saw that's a good idea. Well, and then they have to... Independent, but only a few specific items. And then, because of champions like Kha'Zix <laughs> and Rengar that are always going to be, like, top of you know, the AD assassin class, they have to compensate for AD carry players and mid laners that are getting one shot, and Shaker just keeps getting weaker because he's already not in line with those other champions. It's like, I don't know. It fucking sucks. Yeah. Dude, when I saw that game of you against Dom a while ago, like, you had pretty much the same identical items, but he was just dealing twice as much damage as you, if not even more. Yeah, it was the crack. <laughs> But like back to the E change, do you guys even realize that his yeah, current like executioner damage? No, but it's so bad. That's that's yeah, the guy that did it that had zero interest in what he was doing. Um, I think the executioner damage was really fucking good. Like what? It, it, the uh the eight the three to eight percent max HP execution. Yeah, the damage previous was really version good. was better than the current. I honestly, I if they if they up the execution damage on you, I'd be happy. I don't think yeah, there's like, a way guys... to keep Shaco like with his E balanced. It's either going to be too much damage for low elo players, or it's just going to be so lackluster like it is right now. I think it needs to be I mean, some form of it. skill shot or a new ability. Like, E is just... Because players already say that Shaco is anti-fun to play against. He's one-dimensional. Like, walks in invisibly, one-shots you, or dies instantly, whatever. Like... I mean... I wouldn't say I don't know. champion for skill shots, but... Not necessarily a skill shot, but something else. Like, that's not another just point and click. 
because you can't balance. I think Riot's that. also like Riot's a little quick to be uh, just like nerfing things because people complain about it and not letting people like figure out how to play against things. Like just pop oh, your red trinket. Totally. And stand next to your support. Well, no, the thing that was interesting, I actually talked, like, in the LPP Discord or whatever, is that they, no, I think it was the Blastoise, they balance, or like, at two levels. They balance at professional, competitive, so you have the competitive champions, you know, like, J4, Rek'Sai, whatever, um, and then they balance majority. There's not, like a, like, a D1, a challenger, there's no balancing for that. So you're either a competitively balanced champion, or you are a majority of solo queue balanced champion. So Shaco's I mean, like, majority... You also have to ask yourself, right? It's like, if you take a champion in the more experienced hands, it's going to seem stronger than some, you know, an average player. Like, how do you make the difference between, okay, this champion is just OP and this champion is just... Yeah, but... Well, it's whatever. because his, his kit is so one-dimensional. Yeah, it's, I mean, the, the kit or, or the build? All of it. What am I, I doing like in a team I fight? Totally I queue in, I go onto a squishy, I press R, and I try to one shot him and get out. That's it. <laughs> I mean, that's that's what is because of the Shaker rework. Shaker, what do you mean? What was different before the rework? Wasn't, wait, wasn't Shaker way more balanced before the rework? You liked the game yeah, more. I'm, I swear really. to God. No, okay. no, that's true too, though, because you could pink word him out. Like you could just set pinks. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The stealth system is a whole different He did have a better early game. game. I agree. Well. I just think it's hard to actually before, say in retrospect. Before we get into a st the stealth topic, like, his, back to his E, right? Do you guys even realize that the only way to max his E damage is if the enemy has zero HP? You guys realize that? Yeah, it doesn't have a cap. It should be capped at, like, 50. Every other execution ability has a cap, except Shaker. Thanks to the guy that had zero interest in the game. What's it right now? 25% extra or 50? It's 50%. It should go up. I'd say, HP. I'd say it should be 100 at 25% health. You guys, wait, you guys say, you guys say Shago is an execute? Maxes, I know, I'm saying it should maxes, be. Max <laughs> is 50% bonus damage based on the enemy's missing HP. And the only way it maxes to the 50% bonus damage is if the enemy has zero HP. Yeah, it should go way up and it should be capped at 25. But, again, I don't know if people would be, like, complaining about it in low elo. Yeah, let's get into the stealth topic. This is, this is a funny one, dude. I don't know if you guys saw that video of me about that, the day Shaco died. Oh yeah, I've seen every video. The, the pink water changes. That is, oh my god. I think red shrink is actually more annoying than pink water. Yeah, it's worse. Yeah. yeah I, I, I well, Red Trinket is broken as shit. That's just Red Trinket. It shouldn't last so long. It shouldn't be so big. It shouldn't be free. Like Pink Wards, because so many points and times, they wouldn't have a Pink Ward when they had a Red Trinket. Like, the fact that they can just get Red Trinket at any point. When you can walk around the Pink Ward, the Red Trinket's the whole team fight. You have to wait you, the 11 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, you have to have the item slot to, uh, like, supports would have to carry around a pink ward to drop a pink ward down. But now three people on their team can have a red trinket. Yeah, no it. punishment. Like, that's a good thing, because they clear wards out, too. You, you aren't allowed to play League of Legends, like... Like, this is what I don't agree with, okay? The previous trinket system, wasn't that also much better? Didn't that fix the issue about people having to have a free uh, slot in their inventory for a pink ward? Especially late when you're full build. Wasn't that exactly what the trinket was solving? Being yeah, able was... to get uh, upgraded to a pink ward? Yeah, or even the trinket having ward. like oracle kind of thing? I think the old red trinket was good. Where you, you place it in an area and then it could get bigger if yeah. you... Like that was good. And they also had... They also got true vision from that. Like the oracle thing. <laughs> now it's like, <laughs> okay. I don't think... Yeah, I, I think it'd be pretty cool if they actually changed it so that trinkets no, were I'm single saying, use. I'm just saying they were... And you got them from base. I'm saying there were way better and fairer ways for people to play against stealth. While the writer that I told to about the stealth changes said, oh, it's because people don't like buying pink wards and always have a free slot. But it's like that old trinket system was exactly for that. I, I mean, the thing it. about buying pink wards is that you have to have the brain to buy a pink ward, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, pink ward does away, know about this topic. Trinkets, 
if you take a red trinket or like if you're just giving them the ability to have a red trinket every 30 seconds it's like it just makes the game so much more casual well the thing and is too like if i'm in a challenger game to buy a pink ward. if i'm in a challenger game if they are human beings which it's na so it's kind of a toss-up but if they are they should have a red trinket going the entire duration of a team fight two to three red trinkets are, are an entire team fight if they're at all intelligent so like it's ridiculous actually Wait, adding to that, isn't doesn't uh ingenious hunter reduce the cooldown of red trinket? Yeah. No? Yeah. 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 So it's like twenty seconds. It's like That seems healthy and balanced. It's not long, it's it's like forty. I mean, well at least it only lasts yeah. for like twenty seconds, so that's why I think I think they should make the trinkets single use, but you get them from shop. Like this is the problem I have with the cool. current uh, stealth system and the trinket, right? It's like Oh, okay, you reveal the champion, but not really. It only gives you an idea where the enemy is, but you can't target him. And it's just really delayed the way it updates. How is that? Like... I much more like the version where you had like the Oracle thingy when you used the trinket. Like this is this is me coming from this is this is, uh, coming from a stealth player, right? This is, this guy keeps posting the same message in your chat. Can I I mean, I, I'm not even like, looking at what it. What I'm saying, what I'm saying, is to the dis disadvantage to stealth players. But that's exactly the point. It was just more fair for the people playing in stealth. Yes. Yeah, so previously, not. pink wards were actually more like easier to play around than red trinkets. And. I think the stealth that change wasn't a great idea because I mean, look at all these champions that are like going back on, and they're like like, uh, who, um, they're just like changing all this stealth stuff post the stealth rework, and it's like it could all just be fine now if pink words were still a thing. It's pretty much. And then this like, whole stealth system caused so many issues with the game. It's so. And then they put in true true stealth for fucking akali it's like <laughs> so stupid yeah but and she's now, allowed to and have now it they're, now they're gutting akali's damage it's the same situation as shaken i mean she was only strong for like a year and a half so whatever S since they did her her rework so i, th I think she was fine you know it's... and now we have akali means like professor akali also being like oh yeah i'm quitting this champion they're ruining this fucking champion. Yeah, I mean, TF Blade was rank 1 playing old Irelia and old Akali. When he was originally rank 1, he was playing both of those champions. He hated the reworks. I mean, they're even more broken. It's not interactive. Like, hey, that's This is what they do with most Old reworks. Akali had more rewarding decision making, too. Yeah. This is, what, this is what they do with every single rework that they've done so far. With almost all of them. They become more broken, but also less fun. It's so amazing how they managed to do that. Because they want to, they want to make it more complicated and like more interactive, but then they just like end up being. Well, and that all comes back plans. to, comp like what I said earlier about competitive versus solo queue champions. So they're balancing these other champions just on a completely different scale to be better champions, because they assume that the majority can't play them at the top level anyways. So they're gonna, it's gonna even out. Yeah, but they should just all they should worry about is just balancing around high elo, in my opinion. Just because yeah, it would that's... force everyone else to get better at the so game. This, and... is, this is what you guys <laughs> uh, are uh, uh, uninformed about. Oh. You know, you, you guys know how oh complicated the <laughs> right games. Now I gotta show you guys. Yeah, I don't know if you. Well, I gotta show you. We gonna games. learn today. Yeah, but if they if they balance it around high elo, like those silver players, those gold players are still gonna play the exact same champs tomorrow in a month. Yeah, but like you guys talk about balancing this and that but this is not a balance issue like you know if you guys know how right games works them having like different teams working on one champion or whatever right and somebody like certainly t you know he made this interview with travis in in a discord you can watch it after it after oh there you uh, i watched that yeah yeah it, he explained it right it's like the balance team is a completely different team to you know the mm. champion designer team and the systemics changes there's a whole different team as well and it's like this guy literally says um whoops this guy says his job is to bring new mechanics 
or champions that will kill you over and over till you learn how to deal with them. And he has yes. a reputation in the balance team that, you know, certainly he is the guy that makes great uh, champions or great characters for single player games, but those are not suited for multiplayer games. And it's the balance team's job to fix the balance. trouble, the issues that he causes with these kind of me mechanics that he introduces uh, to the game. Okay, so let's get that clear. Anybody, uh, anybody trying to 1v1 in the Shadow Realm? <laughs> New champ. Mord. The shadow. God, that, oh, well, that is I ridiculous. Every that. rework, yeah, every new champion has to have a new mechanic. Oh, what does he do? The uh, is he like the smite champion, where he brings you to a one v one? Okay, no one knows what smite is. So, yeah, he's he's do, he does that. <laughs> so dumb. So is Mordecai the same shit now? Did they open no, no. Broken no. Uh, so basically, they gave him Swain's E, and he has an ultimate that brings him into the fucking Shadow Realm. So <laughs> you're one v one against Why not? Mordekaiser, whoever he ulties. So like Camille ultimate or? Yeah, pretty much Camille yeah. ultimate, but no one else can help. With cooler graphics. Oh boy. When's Classic League coming out? And let me guess, he's also getting a bunch of steroids and empowerments from that as well. Well, otherwise, how can you first time him and win games? It is a percent HP damage of the. Of his course. Enemy. Of course. Um, oh my. God. And then his passive is a three hit passive. <laughs> so you're basically saying Camille's already outdated. Yeah. No, it's AP, it's AP <laughs> Camille, yeah. And then his E gets like magic resist or um, gives him magic penetration. It's all right. Everybody who was gonna buy Camille already bought her, so now they gotta buy more. I mean, she was only strong for six patches and out jungled you by doing red buff and walking to your land. <sighs> it's funny that how we talk about how Shaco's so linear, and then we, <laughs> it's like we're we're speaking on like we want him to get different abilities to make him less linear, but then we complain about. How these champions are getting these weird ass abilities. It's, well, there's a difference between linear and brain dead. You're not allowed to be brain dead on Shaco. Like Xin Zhao, Camille, like the jungle meta that was, that's different. I mean, to me, it's not about new abilities. I would much rather prefer the old Shaco in every way. Or just pet in every way. Every single ability. But, like, do you guys see that differently? Would you rather prefer a new rework? Or just a revert. I still don't think he would keep up. I still think he would I be would bad. Like a new rework. I think he needs I updates. Think, I think old Shaco was too good, and if we ever reverted back to old Shaco, they would nerf his numbers. Maybe. Yeah, they hundred percent would. Yeah, there was there was his way more was a twenty percent items in the game. Yeah. Yeah, the items are more OP, so yeah, probably. Yeah, they would nerf his numbers hundred percent. I mean, they wouldn't uh, like his E was like. 100% AP ratio. I mean, it'd be kind of like playing Xin Zhao with a stealth. AP would still die because AP items got changed. Like, there's less AP in the game. I mean, if they fully reworked him back to old one and you had, like, stacking boxes and shit, it'd be a little OP. Uh, everyone says they went stacked boxes back, but that shit was broken. I don't care about stacked boxes. That yeah, I don't really care. Doesn't matter I me. never did that easily. It's just. I don't use them to stack anyways. I mean, for Pink Wars playstyle, I can see that, but. But like it's everyone such a specific like play style. Like, you shit. couldn't really pull that off, let's say, in the jungle for the most time. Just, yeah, it's yeah jungle, you use it more. Like, if you're going to use multiple boxes, you want to double fear more than you want to stack anyways. Yeah, I double fear. I mean, I double No, fear I, I'm saying for jungle. I, I know that you understand yeah, yeah. how to fear someone twice, Pink Ward. <laughs> I just want clone damage back, and I want... Oh, uh, clone damage. And I just want Lich Bane to get buffed a little bit. That's all oh, I care about. Key stealth duration to change. Uh, what is it? It's 1.5, right? Level one. And then it goes 2.25 or something. I wish they like change it to like two, two and a half, three, something like if that. If it was three at all ranks, I'd be fine with it. Um, I also uh -huh. did have another. Like, well, do we want an early game Shaco back? Because right now he is a yeah. mid, mid to late game scaling champion, based on his items. Yeah, and he's he's mid game only if you're ahead as well. Yeah, like if you're you got to be ahead. But he, well, I mean, it's it's items. It's like, is it's his dust blade. Like, if like the problem is, even if you play perfectly, like, you're just, like, level with the other jungler. Like, I if you make one mistake, you're just fucked. 
I mean, dude, all Shaco play style and the old game is it. You could just go level two, level three, just go into the enemy jungle and just cause mayhem, right? And now it's like all of that is not worth, right. not only because of the Shaco changes, but also things like catch up, EXP, and whatnot. Counter jungle oh, is yeah. so bad. Even his Q duration, though, like if you invade, you just you just have no um, fucking like. I, I just don't have those problems. I, I don't. What do you mean? Like, I, I find his early games fine. I feel totally fine in early games. Yeah, early games like, fi it's fine, fine. okay, it's clear, fine yeah, to full clear, no, yeah, but are, like, are you gonna no, walk like... into Hecarim jungle? Or are you gonna walk into Zin Zhao? Yes. Okay, Hecarim Zin, no. sometimes. Zin, yeah. He if the Rek Hecarim's bad. No problem with Rek'Sai. Alright, buddy. No well, problem with Lee Alright, but calm it down with the D3 Rek'Sai, okay? <laughs> okay. Listen, <buddy. laughs> hey, challenger soon, right?